uh, True Detective because Woody Harrelson was there in in in, in uh, True Detective, and for me Woody Harrelson is the guy from Cheers, True. right? Who has done and who then did a lot of path breaking stuff, which he was I mean, which possibly could be attributed to a lot of the stuff that he was also doing outside, but but you know. Woody Harrelson is that type of actor which who is Manish Chaudhary for me, right? Woody Harrelson is that actor who's Man Manish Chaudhary is the guy who's been there in some of the biggest cult films in this country has made. I mean, whether it's Rocket Singh and 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 I wanted to work with him. I wanted to work with this guy and 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 and, and he had done Everest and it, it and very very clear, clearly he could have Gaurav could have told me we've done with Everest with him. Take somebody else, right? We've done an Everest with him. Why do you want to do the the TV audiences? I've seen him in Everest. Why do you? And I said, no. Listen, this is the he'll be great for this role. Let's just get him and we'll we'll work with him and we'll figure out what to do with his look and change it. And and he's phenomenal. You know, he's brilliant. And to, people have come to me who have seen parts of the show and said, do a do a spin off called Vikram. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yeah, I don't. I it's I I think most people just choose the actor, right? Okay, so I'll, I'll end on a, on a, because you have to go for audience questions, I'll just end on a, on a thing that will support television. The fact is that wow, television, the, the fact is that television is uh, offering a lot of diversity in storytelling that you're t traditionally not seeing in film. Uh, uh, whether it is transparent and Orange is the New Black, which are pretty much, uh, you know, doing so much for the LGBT community outside. And what I loved about this, this was a Muslim and a Sikh, a mi two minority communities that, that we have showcased over here. You know, really? So I didn't, I, I just figured it out. <laughs> so that's, it's, it's such a, it's, it's so amazing that, that television can actually represent, uh, uh, you know, give voices to, to the kind of uh, communities that we are not, that do not find adequ adequate representation. You know, is that a fair thing to say? That is that why one of, I mean, for you and for you and for you, for everyone over here in this panel is 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 one of the reasons that filmmaking i mean uh, television is actually attractive uh, to filmmakers is because you know that it offers this kind of a leeway it's one more thing which is attractive right it's not just it's not one off it's one more thing uh, you can tell your story you can work with actors which are not who, who don't determine what your, your friday box office is going to be um, you have you you can you can uh, do a long format so you can actually uh, you can explore graphs and character arcs and so one it's if it but i mean then there is a doing a film is also great fun so i'm just saying that there is nothing why are we constantly looking at you know this is film and this is television and i think we need to just let's talk about the theater yeah let's let's do that right <laughs> let's look I mean, down at the I, theater i don't watch <laughs> yeah those fuckers <laughs> But the same question goes for you gentlemen as well, you know, is that uh, one of the reasons that you're getting to talk about, you got to talk about Jews and Palestinians, you know, in your show, uh, which is uh, so amazing that you, you had a show that, that uh, at least spoke about a very rampant political issue in your region. So is that something that you could have done in the way that you did in Hatha film on the big screen? Well, if you look at, at, at uh, Israeli films coming out of Israel and, and there was a renaissance of uh, the film industry in the past, 15, 10 years, so yes, you do see that kind of uh, uh, brave stories on television and in filmmaking in Israel, yes. Um, and I think more and more diversity in, in American television and American film you see now, which is amazing. Um, well, True Detective wasn't tremendously diverse. So uh, what I would say about that, though, is at least this last year, uh, one of the more memorable moments of the uh, award season that I saw was when the entire cast of Orange is the New Black was on stage at the SAG Awards. And you see this group of, of amazing people, beautiful people, and extremely proud people uh, uh, there uh, adored and loved for their work and, and not sort of marginalized um, as side characters. Uh, it, you know, I didn't write True Detective, so, you know, I, I didn't really have the opportunity there to, to, to make that more, di more diverse. But um, I don't know if Orange New Black were a film would it have had that resonance. Uh, we'll open it up to audience questions now, a couple of questions at least. But I think from what we are understanding from the panel is that, I mean, it's a, it's a just to round it up in a sense, it's 
what we are seeing today in India is hopefully the start of another revolution where there is enough space for everything to exist. Is, you know, the dailies, the weeklies and our seasonal uh, shows, if I'm not wrong, God. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I mean, let, let's hope that, I mean, let's hope POW is perhaps one of the bigger uh, causes of this revolution and I'm, I'm really rooting for it. Uh, another big round of applause for, for what we have seen today, which is actually one of the coolest things that I've seen on television in India ever. So, uh, a couple of questions from the audiences. Anyone has? Uh, yes, sir. In the, in the... Of advice, whether you should be more method or mad. Yeah. <laughs> you should go to a film school, learn it, or just do it in a, practically by assisting, like, which is more applicable for filmmakers. I slept my way to the top, so that's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> Some, a bit of repression, repression, and then you know, velocity and expression. And I think you learn the method along the way, but it's got to start from madness. Seriously, now I'll answer. The, the, I think, uh, uh, for me at least... We saw in True Detective, there was an antagonist who didn't appear until the later episodes, William Childress. And then you have, um, in Beasts of No Nation, you have Idris Elba's character, who's, uh, he's a bad guy, but he, there's this animal magnetism about him. So what is your process in creating a villain? And because you're... Um, your content is mostly very protagonist driven. How much time and effort do you invest in creating an antagonist? Um, villains, those are always interesting. Um, I always find that people who play villains are the nicest people in the world in terms of actors, <laughs> like the comedians and like the so-called nice people are the biggest assholes. Um, <laughs> usually, I mean, not always, but stereotypically. Um, and I think in that same sense, I'm, I'm, I'm often drawn to bad people because I think they're interesting. And uh, in Sin Nombre and in, in Beast of No Nation, I, was, I used people who I met who were gang leaders or rebel leaders that I found were quite charismatic as uh, examples because they were leaders of other people. So that's a, a certain category of charismatic villain uh, between quotation marks. I think uh, every genre has its own style of villain. And I, if you're talking about black and white villains in a certain, I'm not sure, you said in Indian television, mm -hmm. like in, in the soap operatic form. Um, but there's like, you know, there's, there's so many different tones in, in stories and each one requires a different level of nuance and complexity or the lack thereof. Uh, and um, it, at least for me personally, I, I like multiple levels and, and ones where you can't just categorize someone because a story is just a window in time and maybe told from, from their perspective they wouldn't be a villain because who thinks they're the villain of their own story 